How's everybody doing today? I certainly hope you're doing well. This is an urgent scam alert. It sure is. Okay, now today is the 30th of December, and this is an urgent scam alert. And if you know anybody who knows somebody else and knows somebody else and knows somebody else, get the word out as quickly as possible to help save your common man or woman. All right, here's the facts. Danny Scam came out with a video. He puts monograph in the header, and he's accusing me of things that I never did. I have no affiliation with whatsoever. Sorry, Danny Scam. I have nothing to do with your problems. I have absolutely nothing to do with your felony warrant. But I tell you what, I tell you what you can blame on me. You can blame the fact that I'm putting out information that is not only valuable, but it is factual at the hour of 10.47 p.m. Standard Time. Uh-huh, sure is. By the time I put up this video, it'll probably be 11 o'clock. You got that? And do look at the link down in the description down below. Now, let's go ahead and get into it, shall we? Danny Scam put up a video in which Chrissy Sumer busted him right away and noticed that the video was actually recorded on the 26th of December. Now, why would Danny Scam do that? Hmm? Why would he put it out on the 30th when he made it four days prior? I'll tell you why. Because this whole thing is a setup. It's a fraud. Now, let me explain it to you. This is what's going on. Danny Scam, at the end of his video, he states specifically, Guys, help me get out of freaking jail so I can get a freaking attorney. That's his quote, not mine. Now, go listen to it yourself on his original video that he put out on the Idaho, uh, excuse me, on the Logic Before Authority page there. You'll hear it for yourself. So he wants everyone to believe that he's in jail. But guess what? He's not in jail. No, he is not. He is trying to pull out yet another scam. That's why he recorded it on the 26th and he delivered it on the 30th. He pre-recorded it. And then he gives this illusion that his girlfriend, Nicole there, is putting out the video because he's incarcerated and he cannot. But guess what, ladies and gentlemen? He is not incarcerated. Check out the link in the, the description down below and it freaking proves it. You do that. Now, I want you to think to yourself, too. Imagine that you are donating to a, a guy that has a felony warrant out for his arrest. You're going to pony up a credit card to God knows who, or God knows what. He's going to have your full name, your full address, Potentially your phone number. You won't have your credit card number because PayPal and others shield that from the receiver. But he still has your name, address, and all that garbage to go with it, right? And not only that, when they finally catch up with this fraud yet again, your name is going to be all over it for helping a freaking felon. That's going to go over real well, isn't it? But you see, you don't have an idea that this is happening. If somebody already donated, donated money to this guy, you're not even going to have a clue that that happened because this guy's a scam artist. But I tell you what, man, I'm telling you, if you got friends or you already did it yourself, you need to call your credit card company and do what is called a chargeback immediately so that those funds are not transferred. You do not want your name associated with this fraud. Now, he keeps talking about it. I didn't steal anything from anybody. I'm innocent and I'm being set up. Blah, blah, blah. Bullshit alert. This is outrageous that a guy like this can panty lack and around and pull crap like this. This is an outrage, man. Now, that, that information may change, but again, now it is exactly 1052 standard time. And as of now, he has not been picked up. You are being force-fed an illusion. And Nicole, you should be ashamed of yourself. You really should be. This is disgusting what you people are doing to other people. Because you're trying to pull on their heartstrings. 
But hey, hey, you know what? You know what? <clears throat> you guys should should really feel sorry for him because New Year's Eve is coming up and you got to have a party, right? This is disgusting, man. I'm King. Link is in the description down below. Hey, Dabu7, about that apology. Just wondering. You heard it from the scammer's mouth. I'm not that person. So pony it up. Later.